Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. We're the ex Murillos. For a lot of you guys that don't know, we're the parents of the Murillo twins. And we're new, making this channel for you guys. For you guys that are not subscribed, go ahead and do what? Subscribe on the little button. The little red button, I think. Is it red? <laughs> I don't know, but go ahead and subscribe. Down and below. Hit the like button. And what else? And turn on your notifications. Yes, and we'll get back to you guys. We'll get back to you guys? I think so. <laughs> okay, but look, besides that, that'll be our next that'll be our next video. Our next video is gonna be what? Answering questions? Yeah. Next video answering questions. Today what we're gonna our it's today's story time. Story time because you guys requested <laughs> on our first video that you guys wanted a video of Brittany's pregnancy and how we took that and how we handled that. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. That's gonna be our story time. Let's get started. Do you want me to start it off? When I found out Brittany was pregnant. Cut. Cause that like, so for a lot of you guys um, that don't know our, that are new to our channel, so we have a set of twins that are 23 and they're the Murillo twins. We got, pregnant when I was 15 and of course Ruben's gonna say when he was 15 no when I was 14 okay shut up whatever I'm only a couple of months older than you but whatever okay that'll be our next video oh my god you said that last time and because you want to make it seem like I'm so much older but anyway so um we had our kids really young I I left with Ruben when I was really young and then um months later I got pregnant so um we were really young parents and it was really tough and the reason why I'm I'm bringing this up again because a lot of you guys don't know um I've had a couple of people on here that don't know who the Murillo twins are so um we had the Murillo twins when we were really young so um, it was really hard on us. It was really hard on me Because many Mexican women Are like old school. It's like moms are the ones that are doing everything We're the ones that are like getting up in the middle of the night getting bottles or breastfeeding or whatever the case is So it's really hard for all those single moms like I got up a couple few times to, to give the twins milk Yeah, I guess you did huh? Very few times. No, I got a, few, a lot of more than a few times. No, you would help me with the twins, I must say. It was really hard though, remember? We wouldn't get no sleep or anything. No. It was like, it was really hard, so. And then soon after, a couple of years later, I was in my early 20s. I, me and Ruben and I didn't make it. I, I, we broke up. Actually, I broke up with him, but that'll be another story. That'll be another shit in the video. So it was really hard on me. It was it was tough. It was hard. Um I was, you know, having to handle the kids all by myself. Being uh, being a single mom is very hard. With that being said, I didn't want my kids to go through what I went through and then financially it's also very hard. I remember I was living we were living in Sacramento and Brittany was 14. I remember she was 14. And um, I started noticing like her talking on the phone and um, I caught her like talking to a guy and she's not a, she wasn't allowed to have a boyfriend. I just, I, we hadn't talked about how old she would be, but I knew that I just, we knew we didn't want her to have a boyfriend, right? Right. And Ruben lived in Fresno at the time and he, so, um, um, Ruben lived in Fresno at the time and I lived in Sacramento. And by that time I was single already just with the kids and um and I remember that Brittany would get on the phone and she would I would catch her talking to a boy on the phone and then I remember I talked to her about it because she was only 14 and then I remember I had told Ruben and then he was like keep an eye on her and right keep an eye and the reason why Ruben's not talking much is because Ruben was in Fresno so mainly it was like me dealing with everything and me just calling them and telling them what was going on with Brittany and I remember she started ditching. She started ditching school, and I would go to school, and I would just like go off on her and just like, what are you doing? Like you're just messing up. And her grades started going down, and then she started ditching, and 
um just everything you can think of Brittany was doing it and I was like I'm losing my daughter like you know I already know she's talking to this boy and I already had this vision that I knew that she was headed in the same path that I was I had once walked like oh my god I I had seen this like Marbe and Ruben path and I knew that that's where she was going I remember that this one time they sneaked out of the house, her and Brittany. Brittany and Brianna, I mean, sorry. Brianna and Brittany sneaked out of the house. And um, I was so worried. I was like, oh my God, what if something happened? Like, and um, they- You never got, told me that. Yeah, they snuck out of the house. <clears throat> they snuck out of the house. And then um, I kind of had an idea that they had gone with their baby's dad. Like I, cause I already knew about him. And I had an idea and I used to hate him. So um, I waited up. I just had this, I like I did, like I had a feeling as a mother that where she had gone, and um, they weren't gone for long. It was like maybe two hours. And um, when they got back in, I remember I I spanked them. I spanked them. I got the belt and I spanked them, and um, or the chunk I forgot, you know, typical Mexican mom. But and then that's when I knew, like, oh my gosh, Brittany, like she's just not listening and like the ditching and I was always stressed out I was always crying I was always worried and I would call him and I would tell him and he would try to talk to her and uh, I, would. I would call him and talk to him and tell him but I mean I think there's only so much that you can do when at that age but I guess she learned her lesson too you know still with my my gordo's father so like he would try to talk to her like in a good positive way like you know and tell her you know like don't you know you can't have a boyfriend right now don't do this you know you're too young just go to school focus in school blah 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 and like I just told her that she wasn't allowed to have a boyfriend and blah blah, blah. so then so then um, sooner or later um, my it was like months that went but I remember I talked to her baby's dad too one time and I was like you need to stay away from my daughter like she's not allowed to have a boyfriend like I did the most you guys like I even talked to his parents and I told his parents that I wanted him to leave uh, my daughter alone and that she was not allowed to have a boyfriend and that I was gonna get a restraining order and like uh, I did everything that I could think that I could do to keep them away like everything and then um, I told her okay since you're like sneaking out you're ditching you're like finding ways I am gonna take you out of school because you're not even doing good in school no more and I remember she was ditching so much that the cops would come to my house and then that's when I decided to take her out of school and I took her out of school and I started um, I put her on home studies and then um, I kind of had a feeling that she kept talking to him still and I, I I was like well now I have her at home there's no way like she's not gonna get pregnant and I would always keep it in contact with Ruben because he was in Fresno so there wasn't much Ruben could do since he was in Fresno just talk to them talk to Brittany and tell Brianna to try to keep her out of trouble so then so she got pregnant no so then what ha that's not how it happened what happened was that well, you, of course you, that ain't how it happened I mean you had to fucking well whatever they did they had well people don't get pregnant by talking my man I know see that's when you deserve to get stopped don't start doing shit so then um I remember this one time she I I, I thought that I had it under control I thought she's not talking to my took her out of school like I took like it tells Lula she's not gonna talk to him no more like that's it you know she's good but I don't know I just started noticing things about her I started blah blah, blah. and I would go off on him I would cuss him out like you need to stay away from my daughter like I'm gonna do this and that like blah, blah. like I would go off on the parents I would tell the parents you're not helping me keep you know to keep my daughter away or your son you're not helping me to keep your son away from my daughter and you know but you know I think that when you have boys it's different like they you maybe as a mom you feel or as a father you feel like oh that's her problem she has girls she's the one that's gonna get pregnant not my son so I don't care that's kind of how I feel like a lot of you know in our culture how they think so 
anyways one time i'm never gonna forget she was gonna be she turned 15 and she told me that for her birthday that that if i would let her have a boyfriend she's like that's all i want like um i don't want to be sneaking around i want to like do things right blah blah blah, blah. She's like i want to you know so she asked me if i would give her permission to be with her baby's dad so i didn't want to because she was so young but then um you know ruben and me had discussed it and i felt like i had done everything in my power to keep them away i had like done everything like i took her out of school cut her phone like i did everything you in my power live with me yeah um but that was yeah before that i yeah exactly before that um i actually i since i couldn't handle britney like she just wouldn't listen i in the whole school thing i sent britney to live with her dad her dad's like send her to me send her to me you know i'm gonna i'm gonna put her on track and send her to me and so i sent her to go live with ruben for a while right and then what happened there well she was she was cool but she wanted to go back to sec she wanted to come back to SAC. She said it was your fault. Oh yeah, yeah, that's what happened. She told me that it was your fault. What was my fault that I wouldn't have a boyfriend? Yeah, because she said if you would let her have a boyfriend, she wouldn't be acting like that. And then what? And then you and your girl, and then Ruben and his baby's mom. What happened was that when I sent Brittany over there. <laughs> Ruben's baby's mom at the time kicked him out. So Brittany and Ruben were walking the streets of Fresno. No, to live. that ain't what happened. What happened was that me and my other baby's mom got into like a little argument, and <clears throat> while well, we just left. But how the hell does Brittany get kicked out of the house twice? <laughs> She got kicked out of sack, and then she got, went to prison and got kicked out again. She did. She got kicked. They got kicked out. Um, Brittany would tell me, so that's why I ended up taking Brittany back because this guy got kicked out, and then Brittany's kicked out along with them, so they had really nowhere to go. So I ended up taking her back in, and then <sighs> basically she turned 15, whatever. So then we were like, okay, I did everything in my power to keep him away. I did everything, like, and she's not budging. She's not listening. I try to be nice to her. I try to be, I was so, oh my God, there's so much regret that I have that I did with Brittany. Like, I was so mean, like, but I was mean because as a mom, I was trying to protect her. I wanted, I didn't want her to go through what I went through. Like, I wanted her to go to school and, like, I wanted her to go out and I wanted her to have fun because those were all the things that I, I didn't get to do. Like I was 17 and I was, I had three kids at 17 already. I had the twins and then I had my son, um, Appy, well, Ruben Jr. So I didn't get to do none of that. So it's like I wanted them to have fun. I wanted them, you know, but I felt like 14, 15 is just too young for you to be doing any of that. And so I just felt like I was losing my baby girl. So. I agreed. I was like, okay, you're 15, whatever. Okay, I'm gonna let you have a boyfriend, but I want you to do things right. I want you, he could come visit you, you know, maybe like once out of the week or whatever. Like, we're gonna set rules and boundaries, and he could come visit, and then, you know, you're gonna have rules, and then she's like, okay, whatever. She was happy. And then I spoke to him, and he agreed to like the rules and whatever. And then, so that happened for a while, and then. I I remember I ended up telling Brittany that I was, and I know a lot of you guys are not gonna agree with this, but just because I was such a young mom, I thought I, you know, I had done everything in my power for her, you know, to do things right, and I took her to the doctor so she could, you know, get on birth control, and I told her I I'm not saying it's okay for you to have sex. That's not. I want you to wait. Don't have sex. You, you're still you're you're young. You're not. You know, sex, it, it's not for you, but just be protective. Like, you never know when that day will come, whatever. Well, none of that ever happened. I would let her, like, I would let him come visit. And then maybe, like, months down the, like, months and months down the the, the road, uh, maybe here and there I would let her go out and eat with him, and then I would let her, I would make her take her sister. So I don't know how this happened, but I remember that one time, I'm never gonna forget this day. 
I remember she. I remember that I woke up and I had a dream. And I had a dream that Brittany was pregnant. So I woke up with that thought in my head, like, oh my God, Brittany's pregnant. Da, da, da. So she's like, Mom, um, can I go out and eat, like, you know, with her baby's dad? Can I go out and eat with them? And I said, yes. Um, and I think it was like a special day that day, like it was like a holiday. It was something special. I'm not. I'm not Valentine's too sure. Day maybe. I want to. I want to say that it was Valentine's Day, and that's why I let her go. But I don't quite remember. But I. I, I think that that's what it was. And then I let her go. And oh, then, maybe her birthday. No, it was something. I. I want to say it was Valentine's Day, but I'm not sure. But I remember um, she was taking long to come back, and then I started remembering my dream. So then I went to go tell Brianna, like Brianna. I had this dream about Brittany. I remember, like, I had a dream that she was pregnant, and oh my god, and I, and I was crying. I'm never gonna forget that day. I, I have it all like locked up in here, and I remember Brianna was grabbing my hair, and she was going like this. She's like, "It's okay, mom." And I remember they had a friend named Melissa, mm -hmm. and I remember Brianna went to go tell Alyssa, and I could hear them whispering in the other room, and I was like, I had a bad feeling. I had a, I had a feeling that she was pregnant. I was like, oh my god, you know, like they're whispering. I tell her this, so I call her, and I'm like, you need to come home now. I was like, oh, you're taking too long, you've already been out. So then she tells me, oh, um, I'll be there. Right. Like, after I, I had already called her, I'm talking about two or three times that she wouldn't come home. So she says, remember that Brittany told me that she was coming over with um, her boyfriend and the parents. So I already knew what she was coming to tell me. I already knew, I had a feeling that she was coming to tell me she was pregnant. And that's the news that I was gonna find out. And sure enough, she got there and told me that she was pregnant and I had a heart attack. And I cried and I screamed and I threw a fit and I was like, she just messed up her life right now. You know, she's not gonna be able to finish school. She's not gonna be able to go out. I'm not gonna be babysitting. Cause that's what my parents did to me. They're like, you know, you wanted, you, this is what you wanted. You wanted to have kids at a young age. So you're gonna have to take care of them. So all that was coming to my head. I was like, she just, you know messed up and now she's stuck and I was so upset and so mad so I called Ruben and I told Ruben and Ruben was like you guys would always stay calling me all the time you and Brittany all the time you and Brittany would always call me yeah crying so, so Ruben suggested that what we should do to show her a lesson is that we should make her like not accept her at the house because that's what she wanted and she didn't want to follow rules so just so they could be a little bit more him. responsible so, like on his part and her part responsibilities i mean it's not hard just bringing kids into this world and not knowing what you're going to do and try to depend on your parents and shit to to try to be there and help you out they parents could only be there so much you know because you know but i don't know how People, the kids these days have kids and expect the parents to, their parents to raise them. I don't know. It's just a little different. But, you know, Brittany's been a good mom. She's been um, responsible. We, yeah, we got lucky. So, um, yeah, so basically Ruben was like, you need a sender to go live with him. And she need, that's what she wanted. She wanted to get pregnant and be a, a wife. And that's what she's going to be. She's going to be a wife. So you need to let her go and you need to tell her that she's, you know, kicked out of the house because that's what she wanted. So that's what we did. We kicked her out and I told her that I didn't want her at the house anymore and her dad didn't want her there. And so she went to go live with him. And I was mad at her. I don't want to have nothing to do with her. Like when I left, my mom didn't talk to me for two years. Um, I remember I was having seizures in the hospital with the, with the twin. I let her go live with him and she would call me crying and you know she wanted me to forgive her and I didn't want to talk to her I just didn't want to have anything to do with her because after I gave her my trust and I let her have a boyfriend I felt betrayed and and um, anyways a couple of months down the road she must have been like maybe like four or five months pregnant I ended up forgiving her and um, she wasn't comfortable or whatever so she ended up coming back home and Ruben was like no I told you not to let her come back home like have her do what you would do, like que le cocine, que le planche, you know, que, you know, que haga todo eso like you used to do for me, and like I just, I just couldn't do it you anymore. Never iron for me. Yes, I did. <laughs> then who would iron for you? Who you would, would cook, cook for, you? for me, yeah. Who would do everything? I think I ironed. Okay, whatever. You never, I never did nothing. 
Well, let's see right now. Let's go cook for me right now. I've been cooking for you. What are you talking about? This is not about us right now. Right. Anyways, so getting back to the video. So, so what I will tell you guys is that once I, I accepted her back and I was upset because she was pregnant, I was still mad at Brittany. I was like, I'm so mad. Like, I just didn't want to, I would hardly talk to her. I would, I went through like bad depression, like, because of the whole pregnancy thing. And of course, Ruben was over there. With this girl living his life, he ended up coming back home to his girl. Cause remember they kicked you out and then they let you back. Maybe they kicked you out cause Brittany was with you. Just that. Go. Anyways, you know what? I will tell you guys this. Um, I was like, I, I, I'm barely making it. Like with the kids, like working, like I was working two jobs and like. Blah 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 blah, and so Brittany's like, "Mom, you're not gonna have to worry about this baby. Like, I'm gonna take care of it, not you. I'm gonna do this, not you. Like, don't worry about it." And Brittany actually got a job. I remember she was like five months pregnant, maybe, and she got a job at McDonald's, which was she, her first job. Brittany's been a little bit. She's always been a responsible parent, a yeah. mom, everything. And but you know, I don't understand that shit though. To top it all off. She knows she's going through the damn fucking struggle with one kid. Y la hija de su pinche madre goes and gets pregnant again. Why would you use that foul language? Because that shit's pissing me off now. I just don't fucking understand that shit. But wait, you know what she would do in all fairness? Like, I would really... I, mean, I don't know. I don't think I've ever told Brittany this. Like, this actually, like, really... What? Are you gonna cry? Because it makes me sad. Why? Because she would, her first job was at McDonald's. And she would get up like at four in the morning pregnant. And she would be like, she would have morning sickness and she would be. Sorry. She would be throwing up and stuff. And she would get up at four in the morning to go to work. It just hurts as a mom because I was like, I would feel bad for her. She's only 16 and she's having to get up at that time to go work because she knows she has a responsibility now. Well, I mean, yeah, that's what you gotta so I, do. I would let her borrow my car to go to work. I would let her borrow my car to go to work and I remember that, you know, she would get up at that time, but she would do it and I would be like, you know when you're pregnant, you don't know, but when you're pregnant, you're really tired or you're really nauseous or you're really like, you just don't feel good. I know I don't feel good when I'm pregnant, like the whole, my whole pregnancy. You didn't have to go to work when you were with me, when you were pregnant. Oh, this is not about you. Okay, let's go. But I remember those things, like, I re like I'm never going to forget about that. And I remember that she would go to work at that time and I'm just really proud of her because you know what I mean? Like, I'm really proud of her. I'm not proud that she got pregnant because I was really upset. And it like, took me a long time to be able to accept the fact that she was going to have a baby and I had to get over it. And don't get me wrong. I love Josiah and Jane and they're my world. Like, I wouldn't have it any other way. And even though, like, she got pregnant so young and stuff, it just hurts me that instead of her being a regular teenager that's 16 17 that is having fun you're gonna go to prom you're gonna you know do all this you're stuck now having to get up and go to work because you have to well, that's, save that that's, money that's 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 the way it is marvia it's life i mean you you put yourself in a situation you're in all the time like you know like you 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 guys want to have kids out there i mean there's responsibilities and and, and consequences to everything you know it's so, gonna you're gonna cut your life you have a baby, you have to pay more attention to the baby than what you gotta do to yourself or to your to your man. Yeah. Or to or vice versa. What a man to the, the kids, there's no attention no more between the parents. It's all focused on the kids now. So it's gonna take a lot of time, you gotta you know, there's a lot of the things that you gotta do to keep going. Those are just little things that I remember about Brittany's pregnancy that I just, I've never told Brittany this, but I just want to say that I'm very proud of you because, you know, I, I, yeah, I she's, always... she's been responsible with her kids and, um, and I want to tell her that, I, you know, she's a good mom with her kids.
Yeah, she's always been a good Which, mom. Which, you know, I know a lot of people will be like, oh, she goes out, she does this, she does that. You guys, when she doesn't have her kids, she goes out and like if not, you know, even like if I'm down, I babysit. It's not all said whatever. I don't have to that. explain. Yeah. You don't have to explain to nobody what you. But do. I just want to say that you she's know, a good mom. mom. I mean, she's yeah. a good mom, and she's a whatever. Uh, like whatever is done, that's like her business. It's not even my business. It's her business, but. Um, I want to say that Brittany has been a very good mother and, and a also, single parent too. And a, yeah, she's a single, single mom, mom. And anyways, I, I I threw her a baby shower, you know, at the end, and she got a lot of gifts. And she's always been responsible with her child. I never had to get up and give Josiah a a bottle in the middle of the night. I didn't have to do anything. You know, she always did everything. She's always you know been a good mom. I remember one time um, Josiah was like. I don't know, a couple of months old, like maybe three months. That's another video, or six, Marvie. Maybe like six months, and um, she got sick. She had like the stomach flu, and she had a fever and stuff. So I remember I had to take care of Josiah that night, and she was like with the fever, and you know, and she would still get up. Like I had Josiah in bed with me, she would still get up to check up on him. So um, that's how I took Brittany's pregnancy, and then, like what, a year later? She got pregnant with Jaden, and that was another heart attack right there. Like, and so much happened. It would be such a long video if I, I I'm gonna like it. It would, it would be too much because a longer pregnancy, so much happened. Um, when she was pregnant with Josiah, like her and her baby dad ended up breaking up, and then she would find things out about him that he would be talking to other girls and she would come in the room crying to me and I would just like hold her and just listen to her and cry with her and we would just cry together and these are the things that I wanted to avoid these are the things that guys will do and they don't care the what? like when you're pregnant and you cheat that's another video stop but anyways, um, yeah, um, things, a lot of that stuff happened and like I used to hate her baby's dad and I used to hate everybody that had to do anything with her baby's dad, but, um, we get along now good. Like I don't ever get involved in none of their mess and any of their fights or anything. I just stay out of it because right now they're happy and they're not or whatever. It's none of my business. I just learned to stay out of it because we've had so many arguments and fights and just so much has gone down between us that he's a father of my grandkids and um, I'm always going to have some type of respect for him. So so that's my story to you guys how I took Brittany's pregnancy. It was really hard and a lot of like it's hard. things that happened, that happened between her and her baby's dad in the middle of crying and like you know him talking to other girls and, yeah, and this goes to every teenage parent out there that are going through it pregnancies you know you just got to be responsible and stay on those kids and take care of them you know don't You're, be so strict don't be so strict on them yeah this is don't be so strict because i was very strict oh but because when Brittany got pregnant my mom was so strict and like i didn't come up pregnant and yeah, I because i loosened pregnant. up that was the thing like um so my advice to any of you moms that do have like um, teenage kids or whatever because my mom I did it the way my mom did it my mom was strict on me like my mom didn't talk to me for two years like I said That'll I be an, you already said that That'll be Ruben, another stop video. doing that okay I'm tired fucking stop. I don't care you shouldn't have you got drunk a night before fucking minutes. you shouldn't have fucking got drunk Come a night on. before and now you have a fucking hangover that's not my problem 35 minutes you've been talking come on let's just cut it already so basically my advice to you guys is um to you know if you guys have kids or whatever don't be so strict on them like i just feel like i was so strict on Brittany that i didn't want her to go do what i did and then she still did i mean i don't know what happened there but so once it came to brianna i started letting her do so much like i i not like a lot but i did start letting her go out more and do more and so she didn't get pregnant and the day that she does get pregnant she's older so it's it's fine but um le di más oportunidades salir y hacer más cosas so that's that's my advice that I, I i give you guys if you guys do have like you know teenagers right like uh, yeah just whatever don't be so strict on them whatever like, and and all these kids that do have kids already just love your kids you know they're blessing and just support you know 
support them in everything they want to do. You know, if they want to join a basketball team, they want to play football, they want to do whatever they want to do, just try to join, try to, um, try to support them. You and know? another thing that I do want to throw out there is like, if you guys are separated, like his, me and him, we do get along because we argue also. Like we argue still yeah, to the day all argue. the time and like, ah, oh, you're nuts, you're crazy, like that, but we get over it. That's the main thing. Like we get over stuff. We don't keep grudges. Like he'll, I'll be mad at him. He'll call me or vice versa or whatever. So all that, my just like I want to throw out there is to me that's very important. Is if you guys are not together, as you know, um, you guys broke up and you guys are not together. For you single dads, because it's not always the case, but most of the time, the mother is the one that has a baby or fifty, or, you know, sometimes fifty fifty. But if you guys do break up. Don't be that guy that's like, oh, we're not together no more, so I, I'm not gonna like help you with this child. I'm not gonna help you with this baby. That baby is your blood, and um, don't forget that you have a child because they need both parents. That's just my advice. I think that that's really important. Now, if you don't want to be, or that guy doesn't want to be in the baby's life, then whatever. You don't need it. You, you'll manage. Everybody else does. But if you are listening to this video and you know you have a change of heart remember that that child does need you right it, actually it takes two it, it, it takes yeah, he needs two parents two parents the mom and the dad even if they're not with if you guys ain't even with each other it always takes the two parents to be part of the kid's life one more thing that i want to say how many of you guys are watching this video and how many of you guys went through a pregnancy on your own or your not with your baby's dad right now and you're pregnant like just know that you'll make it if other girls made it or Brittany yeah, made it or I made it you're gonna be okay what do you mean you made it I was there with your pregnancies I wasn't oh but don't don't talk about me because I, I I don't you I was there with Ruben shut up everything has to twins. always be about you oh no my because God, I was saying. there with the twins but I was pregnant and, and Ruben me and my baby's dad had like we, we had a little breakup and your, her other baby's dad whatever so anyways um i just i know it's hard and it's tough but you can manage and you'll be able to you know just be a strong woman and you'll be fine and that's so that wraps up this story time about Brittany's pregnancy and um make sure you guys subscribe you hit that like button hit the like button and you know and let me know um what you guys want next because that was like the number one that you guys asked i'm um, talking about Brittany's pregnancy there's so much that i would want to say but he doesn't like hurry up blah, blah, blah. well we could talk about it in our next video but there anyways that wraps up the story time and i hope you guys liked it thank you we're here if stop, you guys don't stop know clowning around no, I'm, not, I'm being serious. I'm trying to find a way to start kick this shit off. All right. Okay. If you guys don't know who we are, one, no, Ruben. Yes, hi guys. I can do introduction. Go. Oh. <laughs> we gotta do it together. No, like, we hey can go both together. I've seen YouTube videos and they don't do it together. We should. Let's do it together. No. One, two, three. Hey guys. Go. Go. All right. Okay, wait. You say hey guys, and I just walk in, and then I take over. Look right here. Remember. Me siento como un puto ridículo aquí. Si eres, eres el payaso de todos. Go one, two, three. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, the Ex Murillos. Ya, ya valió madre porque. <laughs> you just want me to do all the talking. You want to sit there. You want to sit back and think. You can. Go, babe. Stop fucking around. This shit's gonna take forever. I'm not gonna let you punch me. Stop. Don't be fucking around like that in front of TV. <laughs> TV. <laughs> it's not TV. It's YouTube. All right, come on, let's go. Hey guys, welcome back to no, no guys. Remember we said about yeah. that. Hey everyone. Okay. Hey everyone.
everyone, welcome back to our channel, The Ex Murillos. If you guys are not familiar with our channel, um, we're the Murillo Twins parents. <laughs> what the fuck? Subscribe. <laughs> you have me doing all the talking. All right, now go do it again. Do it again. I know what to say now. Go, go, go. Oh my god. Go, go. Your monkey's talking and talking. I'm done with it. She always does that. Look, Brianna. This is what I think about your dad cheating on me when I was pregnant with you guys. Stop. Matt. Okay. Okay, so how do I cut so it? Is, what do we say? No. So this. No, so this is how we're going to do it. 